Huge thank you to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video and for supporting creators like you and me. If you're anything like me, you'll jump at any chance to learn about something that can make your creative process easier, faster, more efficient, or even just more enjoyable. Also, if you're anything like me, you don't like wearing pants. They're just so annoying. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the Loop Deck Plus control surface and talk about six ways that it can improve your creative process. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to fix the pants problem. Let's kick things off with a question that I know some of you are asking. What the heck is a Loop Deck Plus? The Loop Deck Plus is a physical control surface dedicated to making your life easier when using creative editing programs like Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, and more. I've been playing around with the Loop Deck Plus for a few weeks now, using it primarily in Lightroom and Premiere, and I've been finding it very useful in my personal workflow. There's just something about getting your hands on a good dedicated dial that always feels better than a mouse. I guess there's a reason why professional editors in several different fields have dedicated control surfaces for exactly what they do. And that brings us to our first advantage of editing with the Loop Deck Plus. It has an improved feel over a keyboard and mouse. As someone who's a big advocate for quick commands, I'll be the first to admit that there is a lot that you can do with the keyboard and mouse, but the minute that you get your hands on an actual dial to bring down those highlights on that photo and feel how smooth and accurate it is, you'll never want to go back to pushing around sliders with the mouse. The Loop Deck Plus has a handful of pre-programmed and labeled dials for things that make sense to be dials, buttons for things that should be buttons, a big control wheel, and and some fun little wheel roller doohickeys for controlling your colors. I don't think they're technically called wheel roller doohickeys, but it just felt right, you know. It's intelligently laid out, and depending on the software that you're in, all of the controls are labeled, so it should be pretty obvious what they do. And if you don't know what they do, it comes with a handy little start guide, or you can check all of the functions from the software. And speaking of the software, that brings us to advantage number two, customization. Let's say you're not a huge fan of what Loop Deck chose for you as the functions for their dials and buttons. Maybe you're a bit of a rebel and you don't like being told what to do. No problem. If you head into the free software, you can customize to your heart's content and lay out your Loop Deck Plus exactly how you want it to be. Though I still haven't found the function button that fixes the pants issue. And one of the best things about the customization is that it's totally different for each piece of software. Which brings us nicely along to our third advantage of the Loop Deck Plus. It plays nice with a pile of different software. If you're like me and you're a multifaceted creator, someone who can do video and photo work, for example, the Loop Deck Plus can be customized for your workflow in several different softwares instead of having to have separate control surfaces for each different creative endeavor. For example, in Adobe Lightroom, there are five buttons on the left side of the Loop Deck that will rate your photos from one to five stars. But in Adobe Premiere, those same buttons are set aside to start and stop playing, fast forward, reverse, and more. Now you might be thinking, geez, that thing sure can do a whole lot, Donna. Wouldn't it be hard to learn? That's a great question, Steve. The answer is revealed in our fourth point, it's easy to learn. As I mentioned before, a good portion of the controls on the Loop Deck are pretty obvious because they're labeled and the ones that aren't labeled can be easily learned by taking a quick peek into the software and figuring out what they're programmed for. I'm one of those people who maybe doesn't like to read the instructions first, so I basically plugged the Loop Deck in, booted it up in Lightroom, and tried it out. And within about 10 minutes, I had a pretty good hold on most of the controls. And within 30 minutes or so, it was already starting to feel pretty natural. Just like any new piece of gear, there's going to be a learning curve, but in my experience, this one is pretty easy. The next advantage to editing with the Loop Deck Plus might be the most important one in my opinion. Because you have the dedicated dials and buttons, it stops you from focusing on the numbers and sliders on the screen and allows you to focus on the image itself. Take this for example. You've got a video and it's ready for color grading. You go to pull down the highlights with your mouse, but you see that you're pulling it down a lot, let's say minus 50. You immediately start to ask yourself these questions like, man, I'm pulling this down a lot 
am I going too far? Now let's take that same example, but with the Loop Deck Plus. You're gonna pull down the highlights, but you've hit the screen mode button to put your video into full screen so that you can more clearly see the image. Then you pull down the highlights using the dial until the image looks good. What's more important, how the image looks or the sliders and numbers and the way that they end up. The loop deck takes away any of the distraction and allows you to focus solely on what you're trying to do. Also, color grading in full screen is awesome and being able to do it when you only have one monitor is even more awesome. And without a control surface, that's not really possible because you can't have it full screen and still access your color grading controls with your mouse. The sixth advantage to using the Loop Deck Plus for your editing is speed. Once you get over that learning curve, and start to feel like using this control surface is second nature, you will get fast with it. And because it's already specifically laid out for the tasks that you're going to be doing, it's going to take out a lot of the little things that you would have to do with a mouse and keyboard combination. Ideally, if you put in the effort to learn and customize your Loop Deck Plus to your editing needs, it will improve your efficiency and make your process faster. But as always, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think would be an advantage of having the Loop Deck Plus for your editing? Leave a comment down below and on your way down there, remember to hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button so YouTube tells you when I post new content. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video and I'll see you next time.